y'all, welcome to our very, very first video on Atomic Vegans. My name is Cassidy, and today I'm gonna be talking about something very near and dear to my heart, which is Alfredo sauce. So before I went full vegan, my very favorite meal was Alfredo pasta from Domino's. You can judge me if you want, but it was my favorite meal. And I have been very determined to create an Alfredo sauce that is as good as the one from Domino's. So I think that I have finally figured out something that is very similar, and this is a recipe I make almost on a weekly basis now. I make it all the time. And another big selling point, at least in my opinion, is that there are no cashews involved. Uh, when I was trying to find vegan Alfredo recipes, they almost always included cashews. First of all, cashews are like a million dollars. They're super expensive. And also you have to soak them. And when I want Alfredo sauce, I want it immediately. I don't wanna have to wait and soak cashews. So with this, there are no cashews involved. I make this version of the sauce with almond milk. I specifically use the Simply Balanced Original Almond Milk from Target. But for the first time, I also tested this recipe using soy milk. The version with soy milk, in my opinion, tasted pretty similar to the one with almond milk. It was just a little bit sweeter. I don't know if it's because I used silk soy milk and at least silk almond milk is fairly sweet. So maybe silk soy milk is kind of the same way, but I definitely think you can make it with soy if you don't drink almond milk. So the first thing you need to do is heat up the skillet on low heat. And we're gonna add some vegan butter. I use the, I can't believe it's not butter, vegan butter uh, tip. Sometimes you can find this for buy one get one free at Publix like I did. All of the measurements are going to be in the description below. Once your butter is melted, you are going to slowly, slowly, slowly whisk in flour. And as you whisk it in, it's gonna turn into a paste. I believe this is called a roux. I am not a chef, so uh, not confirmed. But you're gonna whisk it up until it is a paste. And once everything is nice and combined, you're going to slowly add your non-dairy milk until everything is combined. And it takes a little bit to get all the clumps out until it is nice and smooth. So I do use about two cups of almond milk and I'll start by whisking it in about one cup. And then after all the ingredients are added, I will slowly add in that final cup of almond milk just because the sauce thickens up quite a bit. Once that's nice and combined, that is when I add my various seasonings. So I add garlic powder, then I add some salt, and then I add, of course, nutritional yeast. I think nutritional yeast is really the only ingredient in this recipe that may be a little bit difficult to find, but I always buy nutritional yeast at Trader Joe's, and when I go, I'll buy multiple bags so I don't have to deal with finding it elsewhere. Then I add about a half a cup of non-dairy cheese. I am using the Dea mozzarella shreds. Side note, I have made this without using non-dairy cheese at all before in the past. I just added a little bit more nutritional yeast and it still tasted really good. And again, whisk. Whisk until it's combined and this is probably the stage where you are going to have to add a little bit more milk and this will thicken up. So even if it's runny, just keep it on low heat, keep whisking it, and it will eventually thicken up. With the soy milk version of this pasta, I would maybe add a little bit more salt just because it's a little bit sweeter. So I typically use bow tie pasta and green peas with this sauce because I'm a green pea fanatic and I always like to add them to my pasta, no matter what the sauce is. I think that this sauce is so good, and in my opinion, it is the closest thing that I have tasted to actual Alfredo sauce. So if you try it out, let me know what you think. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. If you make it, let me know in the comments. I would love to know what you think. Please subscribe, and you can also follow us on Instagram at Atomic Vegans. Thanks, guys.